Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning. Here tonight to chat about this new Juliana Barwick album, Healing is a Miracle. Juliana Barwick is a modern, neoclassical, new age, and ambient mastermind. Now these three genres right here, these are tough genres to sometimes get into, especially from the get-go. But with Juliana's debut, The Magical Place, honestly, I found it quite easy. While not the most eventful or cutting-edge sounds in any of these genres, Juliana made up for that in sheer beauty. Between a gorgeous atmosphere, vocal looping, and this mystifying edge to it, this was a meditative album for the books and genuinely one of the most stunning releases I heard that year. And to be honest, a lot of those elements were included on her follow-up album, The Penth. This album, to me at least, was even more gorgeous, even more stunning, and easier to get into as well. Listening to this album just filled me with life. And while 2016's album was a little shorter, not as expansive, and not nearly as experimental either, I actually think it's her most accessible to date. As a matter of fact, if you're looking for a place to start with new age and ambient albums, this is actually a great place to start. Now, these new singles have been very transcendent, very stunning, much like Juliana's early work. But does it lead to a complete album? Let's chat about that. This album starts off with In Spirit. And honestly, for a Juliana Barwick track, this is pretty immediate. Instantly, I am filled with this heavenly atmosphere and even more heavenly vocals. This is stunning. I don't know why, but originally, I didn't really feel like this was a good single. But it's obviously grown on me quite a bit. And the way that this track expands and progresses, bringing in vocal layers and all these synths leading up to this drone, it actually brings a tear to my eye. It's so simple, but it's just so effective. And while not stepping too much out of her comfort zone, Juliana by this point has this sound down to a science. Then we have Oh Memory featuring Mary Lattimore. One is a little on the slower side. It's honestly kind of where I figured this album would start off. This track is a little more reserved, but these are genres of music where it's almost welcome to be a little more reserved. The wispy vocals here and the very patient instrumental work wonders. And just when I'm starting to worry that Juliana's sound is getting a little safe, the vocal layering here is wild. And honestly, I think she does very well alongside Mary Lattimore. And some of the very playful instrumentals that we get towards the end of this track are a really great touch. I mean, this album may not be much out of Juliana's safe zone, but it's just pure, sweet, ambient bliss, and it just fills me with so much happiness. Now, for me, In Light, featuring Jonesy of Sugar Rose, is honestly something really special. While I said earlier that Juliana has really gotten her sound down to a science, this track breaks that science completely. I love the use of ambient sounds here. It's something that we haven't heard in a while. I think it's a really great element. Her vocals here aren't just the only the best on this album. I think it's some of the best we've ever heard from Juliana, especially her vocals alongside Jonesy. I think they have really great chemistry. The sound play here, the looping, the production, it all gives this track such an otherworldly feel. To me, this is a true happening, and by the end of this track, it is completely something special and ridiculously epic and one of the most must-listen tracks here. Safe, for me, is one of the best tracks here. Personally, it really hits me hard. There really is a spiritual nature to some of Juliana's music, and as far as that's concerned, this is one of the strongest here. It hits hard. It's also one of the most patience-testing and demanding tracks here, but man, the rewards are wonderful. It progresses wonderfully. By the end, it's completely transcendent. Juliana's music has completely become otherworldly, and by the end of this track, it's reached new heights. Flowers, on the other hand, is one of the most beautifully textured tracks here. The layers of vocals and the production choices here are great, as well as some of these great surprises that Juliana throws in. This has so far been a very peaceful, very lush, very colorful album, but Flowers is different, dare I say, exciting. I love how the instrumental here is just seemingly bubbling underneath the entire time. It's sort of harsh sounding, dare I say, noisy. And for a change, Juliana's vocals are much more alert sounding, much more alarming, very haunting, and very chilling. And Nod, as a finale featuring No Such Thing, is actually a really great finale. Her vocal work here is fantastic. I mean, with all the production tricks and the layering, you kind of forget that Juliana is a wonderful singer and hear her vocals sound great. 
But on top of that, there is a certain drama to this track, very cinematic element that I think is missing from a lot of our music and I like a lot. But not only that, it's just as graceful, just as transcendent as anything else here. And with another great contribution from No Such Thing, honestly, it opens up the future for Juliana's music with more contributors, which is something that honestly I worried about going into this album. It's a very telling finale that excites me for the future. Now, believe it or not, this album could have been even more beautiful. Healing as a miracle, as an title track, I don't know, it was kind of a letdown for me. From a distance, it did get me hyped. I really love just how bulky and big these synths are. It also has a very Julie Cruz, Twin Peaks soundtrack kind of feel to it. But I don't know, while I certainly like a lot of those elements of this track, it could have been even more special, I think. The beauty of this track is genuine. It has a great bass to it. But for me, I worry that it doesn't progress enough. Even this track's most demanding and patience testing tracks are completely transcendent and epic by the end of it. This just isn't it. And I feel the same way about Wishing Well. Juliana really has to watch tracks like this. It's actually my least favorite track here. Once again, this track is very light on the ears, very beautiful. It has a great bass to it. It's beautiful. It's otherworldly. It's very serene. But there is no progression here. And I know for a fact because I've seen it and heard it with my own ears for this entire album. She's so much better progressing her material than this. Simply put, it's very easy on the ears. It's very pretty. But nothing about this actually excites me or brings me back for a second listen. Uh, but still, for a Juliana Barwick album in 2020 where she's bringing in a slew of very interesting contributors, this is a really fascinating album. Yes, it's still not as genuinely alarming and beautiful as like her first two releases are but still i think that her sound is really fantastic she continues to take the sounds of new age and ambient electronic music and make it very easy to take in not only that this album actually excites me for the future because she's teasing some really big risks here and most of them pay off yeah a few of them don't progress very well but still juliana barwick has a fantastic sound and if you're into new age and into electronic or ambient music or you're interested in these genres and want to get into them this is a great place to start i'm feeling a very strong seven on this album but let me know what you guys think down below if you like the video be sure to give us a like give us a subscribe and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future and until next time have a great day guys